pregnant women getting access to Medicaid to improve Mississippi infant mortality rate. And joining us now is Representative Sam Creekmore of New Albany, who serves as the House Chairman of Public Health. How important and critical was it for you all to allow this to happen? Well, it's very important. Um, at the very beginning of the session, we did a, a state of the state on where we are in public health, and infant mortality was at the top. I mean, we're, we're last in, in uh, infant mortality rates, and so what, how can we address that? And House Bill 539 did just that uh, in that it's uh, presumptive eligibility. Mm -hmm. So a, a female who gets pregnant can apply for Medicaid. However, that's a 60 to 90 day process. And during that time, you're in the first trimester. It's very important for the development of the baby and the vitamins and the care that they get. So with House Bill 539, they can go ahead and get care mm -hmm. for prenatal care for the, for the baby. And that will make a huge difference uh, going forward with infant mortality. Now, when it comes to um, infant mortality and Medicaid, how much money is the state going to save by, by making the women have Medicaid earlier? Thank you for asking that question. This will cost the state about $600,000. But one, if it, it'll affect thousands of women, but one prenatal, one premature born baby costs around a million dollars for the state or, or to take care of that baby. So just by saving one life or one, one baby getting it healthy and born healthy mm -hmm. pays for itself for the state. So this is a good bill and we're excited. It comes into effect on July 1st. Okay. All right then, Sam, we're going to have to invite you back. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thank you.